All right, Joe, he had it coming to him. Come on, Kitten, Wendy, let's go home. You all right, Mr. Dakin? Now that that's settled, I think we can get back to normal. Normal? Your idea of normal is being mean and vindictive. You've hurt the nicest family that's ever come here. And I wouldn't be like you or the rest of your frozen face, oh, narrow-minded old... Listen, Judy, you wanted me to change, but now it's your turn. If you ever make up your mind, let me know. Einstein couldn't figure this thing out. Oh, and I wanted to hear the friendly hour. Yeah, it's a fine thing when you got to depend on a radio for friendship. We could use a little friendship around here, no matter where it comes from. Ah, oh, you're right, Kit. But maybe it wasn't their fault. I guess we just looked like queer fish to them, that's all. What a life. The most important audience we ever played to, and the only one we couldn't crack. What are you reading, honey? Variety. I'd nearly forgotten the language. Broadway does floppo as biz dives. Hmm. Dave and Fanny Chambers were on a television program in Los Angeles last week. So what? I can remember when they were built under Costello's train seal. She can remember. Vaude wows them in Cleveland. Flex legit takes back seat. Remember when we were held over in Cleveland for three weeks? I was in school there for so long, they voted me most apt to succeed. And that night, Dad got so mad at you, Mom, he spoiled the finish just because you bought that new dress. Spoiled the finish? Me? Kit was just in a hurry to get off to try it on. Didn't have a chance. You sent it back. Did I? Remember this one, Dad? Hop a bus, take a car, hail a cab, and there you are on Fifth Avenue. What fun we used to have. The trains, hotels, dressing rooms, the old gang. Mm, those were the days. Those were the days you wanted the cows and the chickens. Well, that's the way it goes. You always want something you haven't got. Then after you get it, you don't want it at all. So you want to go back? Sure I want to go back. And I bet we'll be better than ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're still a great little actress, honey. Your last speech proves that. Well, let's start warming up right now. Come on. Mom, let's make a clean entrance. Okay, we'll pick it up where you come on. All right. And when you do your specialty, honey, give it to him. Remember, you never missed a tap. I used to stand the wings and I, oh, typically swell here. This is a good stage. Now, listen. Yeah. When you do your specialty, put it on. I probably forgot my part. <laughs> come on along and let me show you the grandest star affair. a bus, take a car, hail a cab, and there you are on Fifth Avenue. Every Joe, every Jane walks along the dreamer's lane on Fifth Avenue. That's Fifth Avenue, where they stop, window shop, and their hopes are so high. Pricing rings, pretty things. That they can't afford to buy But, but they, they smile, smile, they don't care Everyone's a millionaire When you're strolling on Fifth Avenue That's enough, Wendy. Gee, it'll be great to get back in the old routine again, won't it? I can't wait. Neither can I. I'm going to start packing right now. Oh, gee, kid, honey, don't, please. What do we care if a bunch of hayseeds don't go for us? It's not for us, I mind. It's for her, after all we planned. Oh, don't worry about her. That kid's a trooper. She'll get along all right. Anyway, we had no right to keep her away from her career. She'll end up a star on Broadway. That's right, Joe. Broadway, bright lights, a big star. That's for her.
Valentine's quit Stonefield. Well, what do you think of it, Eddie? It's a classic. And this stuff about with the Valentine's goes the spirit of youth. Hits it right on the nose. There they are now. Hello, kid. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello. Joe. Mike, Eddie, how are you? We just stopped in to say goodbye. Look at this, Joe. What? Oh. You should feel highly honored. Only two extras have ever been gotten out by the Democrat. One was when McKinley was shot, and that's the other. See, that's a great spread, Mike. <laughs> Even if it is for our exit. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. You know, this will do a lot of explaining to the old gang when they start ribbing us about coming back. That's just what Wendy said when she came in to say goodbye. Tell me, Mike, how does she seem to feel, you know, about going away? Wendy, why, she was tickled pink. She... <laughs> Better take it easy, Wendy. This will be your fourth. You sure are looking blower in a whetstone. Oh, it's just a rain notice. Yeah, it certainly is beating down. Uh, you can always count on these contraptions to go bluey just as you need them. Hurry, can. But I know they're leaving today. Effie said. Jeb's bringing their trunks over to the station and they're going on the 418. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Well, I don't like to cast the first stone, but I must say a body can stand just so much. Mary Ann, the idea of those cheap, big mouth know-it-alls coming here trying to run us, stirring up the young people and everything. Well, Hattie, they didn't really hurt anybody. Oh, didn't they? Why, if it hadn't been for Hester Appleby, but... Yes. If it hadn't been for her and people like you, everybody here would be a lot happier. Maybe you're glad to see us go, but you're not half as glad as we are. You're mean and skimpy-minded. And besides, my mother and father are five million times better than all of you put together. Your mother and father. That's funny, isn't it, Ma? Mary Ann. Those Valentines aren't your real folks at all. You're just adopted. My pa's town clerk, and he told Ma, didn't he, Ma, that your pa died a long time ago and left you the farm. And do you know what your real name is? Wendy O'Hara. Mary Ann, you shouldn't have. Let her alone, Bertha. I always said the child should know anyway. Hmm. I knew about it all the time. It's just too bad, Mary Ann, that your mother didn't bring you up to be a nicer girl. You didn't know all the time, did you? All I've ever done was for me. <laughs> oh, there they are now. Here's my handkerchief. Thank you. Do I look all right? You look fine. Goodbye, Judy. Goodbye, Wendy. Again, baby? Of course not, Mom. We better hurry, Dad, if we'll have to swim to the station. Well, take your last look, girls. I still say it's a sweet little town. Dad. What? 